the ocean shapes our very existence. So, people need to understand that. Never forget it. <laughs> Respect the ocean. The lives of human beings have been connected to the ocean ever since the beginning of our existence. Most of the greatest cultures throughout history flourished around water. Today, more than ever, our lives are completely intertwined with the ocean and the inhabitants of it. Belize is a country that depends on the ocean for its economic and social prosperity. Unfortunately, over the past couple decades, the health of the reef has been in serious decline. Overfishing, ocean acidification, invasive species, pollution, and climate change have all presented themselves as serious problems. By analyzing relationships with the reef from different points of view, we can begin to understand the problems that the Belize reefs are facing today. Have you been snorkeling or diving out in the reef? Yeah, we went snorkeling yesterday. How healthy does the reef look? Um, well, I've only seen one other reef, and that was the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Um, and it didn't look as healthy as that. And also, they showed us the, the graveyard of all the conch, is it? Yeah, which was a little sad. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me what you know about the reef, or what you've learned since being here? Hmm, not a whole lot, other than we were told not to touch anything, um, how the locals and fishermen go there a lot for the conch and then just throw them back in. Um, we just saw some of the different fish and the turtles and the stingrays that live there. That was about it. Okay. Why is the reef important to Belize? Um, well, it's important for one because you know it's it's uh it's uh it provides food you know fish and uh it provide uh, it's good for tourism you know it brings the, um, money into the country you know by people coming and, and seeing you know the, the, the marine life that we have here and uh, and it's it's just good for you know, a country itself, you know, to have, you know, these, um, these reef system and it's also good for breaking down, you know, like, hur well, hur hurricane do damage it and, and so on, but, you know, it, it is good to, it is good for these. What changes have you seen in the reef lately? Yeah, um, changes, I would say, been seeing less fish because it's been overfished and you see you see a lot of sediment you know, building up that's also from uh, from you know, you know developments around you know, human impact and if the problems continue with overfishing what do you think will happen in the near future well we won't we won't have we won't have this reef system that we have now. But but being that that Belizeans, you know, care about the, the reef system, you know, it you know, a lot of places in Belize have been made protected. You know, like Turnif, yeah, um, for once, you know, just have been get yeah, you know, it's just been protected this year. So that's show a lot of interest that us Belizeans care about the reef and uh, just now to sustain it better and more laws and how to, how, to treat, how to treat the system, how to bring it back. Uh, okay, so what attracted you to Belize? Um, I've seen a lot of the rest of Central America, so it was one of the countries I wanted to, to see. Have you been snorkeling or diving here? Here in Belize, no. I did. Uh, uh, can you tell me what you know about the reef here, or like if you know anything, or if you've learned anything since being here? Um, in, what do I know about the reef? Very popular for diving, there's a lot of wildlife there. There's um, 
man manta ray, is it? Yeah. Um, stingray, just so I know that there's an abundance of those around. Um, I don't know much else about it, I'm afraid. Yes. <laughs> I don't think it's protected, is it? Does the educational system make any effort to teach about the problems that we've been seeing with the reef? Um, the formal education system in Belize has a mention for teaching wildlife conservation, environmental management and such, but unfortunately it has not integrated any of those components into the formal curricula. So when you talk to children, when you talk to teachers, you realize that there is no formal education on marine biology and ecology, wildlife management, environmental health and such. And in fact, the whole topic of, for example, um, what, anything that would come under those particular components falls under health and social studies, which is not necessarily the best place for those components to fall. What do they teach you in school about the reef here? They teach me that um, um, the um, reef out there is our sec is the second largest barrier reef in the world. Do they teach you about any of like the problems with the reef? No, not really. Um, do they teach you how to take care of it? Yeah, like to not when you go out there, like not to throw the garbage yeah, there, yeah. and um, that when you go out there, you need to mind the corals, like don't step on them. Do so you guys have heard about some of the, like the trash out in the reef? Then yeah. yeah. Do you see a lot of trash? Do they teach you in school about the reef? No. So do you think that the reef is pretty healthy? Yes. Yeah? Do you think that there's a lot of fish? Yes. Do you think, it, do you think it's better to have fish in the ocean or fish should we take out fish to eat? Fish to eat. Do you know anything about the fish in the reef? I know that they have scales on their body. Mm-hmm. And fins a side of their body. Do you see any trash or <laughs> any any oil or bad stuff in the reef? Yes, like garbage. Yeah. And bottles. Do you think that's bad for the fish? Yes, because it kills them. Yeah, so do they teach you anything about that in school? Um no, not really. For how long have you been the fisherman? Before I was born. Okay. My mom used to go and fish with me in the valley. Yes, but So I turned out to be a fisherman. What type of fish do you catch the most? Snappers, barracudas, mackerels, big fish. Have you seen any changes in the amount of fish that you catch? There is. The fish have been getting scarce these days. You know, the population is dying out. I mean, when I was a kid, we used to go close and catch fish. No, we got to go that far. Meaning that, hey, too many people are in the world now and they're eating too much fish. Yeah, so you sort of said it, but why do you think that the populations are declining? Well, because we kill the baby ones. Most of the time, these fish are manual. We catch a fish and don't release the small ones. We have to realize that if you kill the babies, then you kill a generation. Hey, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Have you seen any changes in the amount of fish that you catch? Yes. We have, uh, to my point of view, we have natural disaster and then we have human the primary predators. But uh, we are facing problems of the local economy. Actually, I can say the new type of fish is coming into the sea. Right? I never heard, when I was young, I never heard about the lionfish. And now it, it's a problem. So I think that's one factor that declines a lobster. Yeah. Why do you think the, the populations are declining? Population of fish, fish? and lobster that you catch. Uh, like I said in the beginning, no, a lot of fishermen is uh, we human are the primary uh, predators. So um, that's a part of it. 
but the other part is natural disasters, hurricanes, and you know, um, new type of fish invading the, the, the sea. You know, I think that's uh, and some I can blame fishermen, so, you know, catching illegal sites you know, on the water. We call it the black market, and we can avoid that. You know? That's why we work along the fisheries department. What does the ocean mean to me? The ocean is my life. It provides me with food and um, also provides me with money to pay for my rent, my, my, my other needs that I have. You know, so the ocean was sent so we could survive by the ocean. You know, we need fish, we need all these other stuff in the ocean to survive. Nothing. It means like we can go and swim in it like it's a good um, it's a good place to go and swim and to um you can build a um, house and you can travel in the ocean and go to different places in the world well to me the, the ocean means my life you know because um, we already so many percent water human beings itself so yeah it's pretty much our, our lifeline Everything. It's our livelihood for one, most important. Second, beauty for tourism and the interest of having our children's children coming up long to have it. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's everything. I mean, without it, we wouldn't be here. To me, it's a great part of life. Without water, without sea, we are not here. It means a lot. I like it. It's, um, um, I enjoy all the different wildlife and things like that, so I'd like to preserve it. Peaceful. Calming and peaceful. <laughs> Thank you.